Hey guys, and welcome to a therapist task guide, car repair. For this task, we're going to need to find four finding raid car batteries, as well as find eight finding raid spark plugs, and then hand them over to her. Don't forget to leave a like on this video if you find this guide useful. So starting off, you are going to need to get yourself the car batteries and the spark plugs. Now, if you have leveled up your hideout and your um, your workbench is actually level two, sadly, I'm crafting something so I can't show you the specific numbers. You can actually craft the car batteries and the spark plugs directly from your workbench at level two. For the spark plugs, you can see right here, you're going to need one screw nut. So you're going to need two bolts a survival lighter as well as one pliers which is actually quite cheap and it does take around about two hours to craft that also when it comes to the car batteries you can also craft them i have a quick look just like so you are going to need one of these giant military batteries they are actually quite expensive you can obviously buy them directly from the flea 200 odd k and then you're going to need to get yourself a leatherman's tool this does take two hours and around about 45 minutes to actually craft. Car batteries can also spawn in technical supply crates as well as sports bags, as well as the hidden stashes dotted around the map. Basically in those hidden stashes, any item in the game can spawn as well as in dead scavs. Now, when it comes to the uh, spark plugs, because they are smaller, they can also spawn in toolboxes, technical supply crates, sports bags. So the duffel bags that are dotted around the world, ground caches again like i said earlier dead scavs as well as filing cabinets too they are quite a common spawn in those one of the best locations to find spark plugs and car batteries is actually on interchange so we are here at the goshen store just like so and what we're going to do is actually go over to where the fire is so we're just going to head through the shells right here there are an awful lot of scavs around this so make sure you keep an eye out but we are just going to continue our way through just like so and we're going to go right to the back right hand corner you can see where it's lit up a little bit these shells right here can spawn car batteries and spark plugs as well as here this is the better place to find car batteries as well as spark plugs as they do spawn very commonly another great location to get spark plugs are actually the tech stores as well on interchange interchange is a very tech place so you know getting these kind of items like especially the spark plugs this is definitely going to be one of the best bets you can do there are definitely a few tech stores dotted around you've got texo right here basically on any of these shelves just like so you can spawn a spark plug up these flight of stairs right here you can just see at the top there the little pink rating that's tech light and you got a rasmussen just over there you've also got german which is next to kibba uh, it's actually opposite Kibba inside of the center of the stores as well as well as any of these style of shells right here dotted inside of ollie these right here can actually spawn the car batteries as well especially along the back of the store these shells right here we are at the, along the back end of the store so these shells right here can spawn car batteries quite commonly as well as these ones just here and if you continue along as you are heading to the back of Ollie, these shells right here, as you can see, just there is another car battery. If you are struggling with this task or just in general wanting to find people to play with, head over to prana.tv slash discord. We do have a decently large looking for group community as well as a Sherpa system. So if you just need a bit more help than normal, then we are there to help you. Hopefully you guys found this guide useful. If you did, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe or possibly consider joining the channel membership where you can unlock early videos as well as a few custom rewards. Don't forget to check out Piranha.tv as well. That's a one-stop shop for all of your guides, tasks, keys, all those kind of things in one location. Hopefully you guys found this guide useful and I'll see you in the next video. And a big thank you to all of my Patreons supporting me over on patreon.com slash piranha TV. And a huge thank you to Jay Dam, Freddy, and Beansy. Without this kind of support, I wouldn't be able to do what I do.